In 2012, 52% of American adults voted. That means that almost half of the people over the age of 18 did not cast a ballot during the last presidential election. So why don't people vote? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Do you always vote? I believe I was actually busy. At least in the presidential election, yes. I flew all the way to Atlanta, Georgia to go vote. That's how important it was to you. It's very important. Education is a big predictor of turnout. The more education someone has, the more likely she is to turn out. Paul Gorin studies voter behavior at the U. Political interest matters a lot. I feel like this election is a little more important. Yeah, a big factor is, is strength of partisanship. But one of the biggest factors is age. Younger people haven't had time to develop sort of set down roots in a community. 41% of people 18 to 29 voted in 2012. For people over 60, it was 71%. That's true. It's gotten easier to vote over time. Um, but I don't want to cast aspersions on millennials. I remember when I was in my 20s, I wasn't always on the ball with everything, and so. Good point, good point. After the 2012 election, the census asked people why they didn't vote. The number one answer, too busy. You know you What's can working vote and stuff. early. Yeah, I realized that a little too late. Followed by not interested in illness or disability, didn't like the candidates, out of town, registration problems, and just forgot. If I don't know anything about either candidate, that it's, um, I'm not using my voting properly. The wealthiest report being out of town is their number one reason. For the poorest, it was illness or disability. The percentage of people just not interested was even across all ages and income levels. I just feel like uh, that my vote isn't that important or would matter. For some of those people, it's, it's real life gets in the way, but for a lot of them, they're apathetic. It may make a huge difference if everyone took that opportunity to do that. Still have 12 days. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. According to the United States Elections Project, Minnesota had the highest voter turnout in 2012, followed by Wisconsin and Iowa. Experts say much of this has to do with the state's civic pride and tradition of voting. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.